What is up guys, this is Max Square, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a really simple but cool logo stinger for your videos or whatever you may need. So this is taking inspiration from that Google icon animation that you may have seen around. So it's kind of that 2D cartoon pop-up effect, and that's what we're gonna be recreating in this intro. So let's get started. So this is the animation that we're going to be creating. I'll just let this run for you. Pretty simple, just fades on and then fades back off. So the whole intro is about five or six seconds. Of course, you can extend this to be as long as you need, but let's check out how to make it. So first, we want to make a new composition. We're going to make this 1920 by 1080, or if you're working in 4K or 2K, you can adjust to those resolutions. We're going to name this comp logo. Now you want to make sure that the logo that you're dropping in here, if it's an image, is some sort of shape so that it's going to get that um, shape and fill it in there, but it's not going to lose the identity of the brand. You know, if you have some logo that has some shape or something inside of it, um, then you want to make sure that you're just using text, or if you just want a circle or whatever to fill up, then you can do that as well. So I'm just going to scale this down here to about 20%. Next we're going to create another composition and we're going to call this filler. And this is where we're gonna make our shapes and colors that fill in our logo. So I'm just gonna double click the shape layer here and it's gonna fill the whole comp with a rectangle. And I'm gonna use this pink here. And what you wanna do is go into your effects and presets and go under transition and then just drag and drop that radial wipe effect there. And we're gonna switch the wipe effect to counterclockwise so that it will go left to right. Now, if you want it to go clockwise, you can do that as well. This is just what I'm using. And we're gonna start at 100% here. And we're gonna click that little timer icon at the left. That's just gonna create a keyframe for us. So you'll see if I move my cursor, there's our keyframe. And what we can do is select our shape layer and click U and that'll bring up all of our animated properties. And I'm gonna go into about a second and I'm gonna bring this to zero. So if we play this back, it's pretty boring, just wipes on and off. But one thing we can do to fix this is to select both of those keyframes, right click, and under keyframe assistant, select easy ease. And then while we have this selected, we wanna select this little graph editor icon. You wanna click and drag, so you select both properties. And then we're gonna get these little yellow handles. This is gonna allow us to animate how quick the animation is going in and out. So what we can do is select this top one, and while we hold shift, we can just click and drag all to the right, and we can do the same thing for the bottom one, except going to the left. So now if we play it back, we have this really quick poppy animation. Now all we have to do is duplicate this four times, so just hit command D three times, we'll get three new layers, and we can select our other colors. I'm just gonna select a blue, a green, and maybe an orange. Now we wanna select our shape layer two and hit S and change that scale to 98%. We wanna select our third layer and select this to 96% and our fourth to 94. So now if we play it back, you see that the uh, shapes are animating on top of each other. Now you can actually adjust the scale to be as much as you want. If you want more pink, you can animate the other layers down and you'll get more pink that way. This is totally up to you, but I'm just doing it in 2% increments. Next, what we wanna do is select all but the bottom layer and move it over a couple keyframes, then unselect the third layer and move that over a bit, and then just move our last layer over a bit. So they're all a little bit offset, so it'll look something like this. And then we're gonna make one more composition and you can call this render or whatever you wanna call it and we're gonna drag our filler and our logo in. You wanna make sure your logo's on top of your filler. And then in our filler comp, we wanna select the track mat to alpha mat logo. Now, if you don't have this track mat available, you can just select it from the bottom left there and just toggle that mode on. I'm gonna double click the rectangle layer to make a white background, drag that to the bottom, and let's see what it looks like. Now, of course, the final color you have for the logo is going to be the top layer of your filler comp. So if you want it to be maybe a red or whatever, you want to make sure you change that top layer and you'll see that that'll be the final color. Now, just before we move on, let's go back to our filler comp. We want to select all our layers, 
right click and select pre-compose and you can just call this pre-comp1 or you can come up with a creative name like pre-comp2. What we want to do is duplicate that layer, right click that, under the time menu select time reverse layer. Now you want to go find where that starts animating, you'll see it come up in a second. So right before it starts to reverse that animation, you want to go to about a frame before, just about there. We're going to select Alt Bracket, and that's going to trim the layer to where our cursor is. And we can drag this to about three and a half seconds. And just where it starts, we want to select our bottom layer and hit Alt Right Bracket, so that the bottom one ends as soon as the top one takes over, so that there's nothing remaining when the top one finishes. So now if we go back to our render, you'll see that it animates on, and then about three and a half seconds in, it animates back off. So that's really the gist of this tutorial, but there's a couple things you can do to add on to it just to make it look a little bit nicer. And so what we're gonna do is select our logo layer and under the scale, we're gonna set a keyframe at about the one second mark and we're gonna hit R and set a rotation there. Then we're gonna hit U on the keyboard and this is gonna show our scaling and rotation properties. We're gonna go to the beginning. We can set this scale to zero and you can set this rotation to whatever you want. If you want it to go completely crazy, you can set something like 235 and you'll see that it starts super reversed and then it fixes itself. I like something a little bit more subtle like negative 15. Then we're just gonna add the easy ease to those keyframes. Go to our graph editor. Now the scale, I want something to be a little bit more poppy. So I'm gonna do the same thing we did for our filler comp. And then I'm gonna select the rotation properties and I want that to kind of settle into it. So the top one, I'm gonna drag all the way to the left, but I'm gonna leave the right one, or excuse me, the bottom one where it is. So let's see what that looks like. Now you can extend these properties if you wanna see them a little bit more clearly. So you see the rotation fixes it just at the last second. And then just when it starts to go back, we're gonna set another keyframe. So we're gonna just hold where these keyframes are. And we're gonna to go to where the animation finishes, just about there. And we're gonna bring the scale down and go back to the negative 15. So let's see what that looks like. Now one cool thing we can do to have this animate off is to kind of pop up, so scale up a bit and then scale all the way down. This just adds kind of that cartoony effect. So to do this, we can select our scale properties, go back to the graph editor, and we wanna go all the way to the right and all the way to the left. So that same popping, but we wanna add another keyframe a couple frames in that goes beyond that 100%. So we can go maybe up to 104 or 105. So it goes up and then it goes down. So let's see what that looks like. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. As always, the project file will be available to download in the description down below. That is it for this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.